Hey, I'm Dr. Vizo, one of the co-creators of Med School Bootcamp. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to just walk you through all the things that we've been working on on the Med School Bootcamp platform. And there's a lot to unpackage here, so let's just start on the homepage. So you can see here, there's a lot of different courses that are organized alphabetically. So we have biochemistry, biostatistics, you know, everything from hematology to neurology and even basic pharmacology. So there's an enormous amount of content here that extensively covers the high yield information on the step one and complex level one exams. So from this screen, we can go up and we can go, let's go into hematology, for example. So at the top of the course, you can see the duration of the unit and some of the instructors that are running the unit. Now, if you scroll down here a little bit, you can see each of these chapters. Let's take a pretty popular topic here. Let's go to microcytic anemias. So you can see here in the microcytic anemia section, the first thing that you'll notice is there is a PDF. Now, the PDF generally will have a master lesson outline feature, which essentially allows you to follow along with the video. So you can take notes with the instructor, and you can see here that all of the PDFs for the hematology lecture are going to be located in that resource outline that I just described. You can see under the resources tab, we have the first video of this chapter of microcytic anemia. So there's an overview of video of anemias. And then after each video, there is a quiz, which is kind of nice because it forces you to actively engage in the video. It's not like you're watching 40 minutes of video and you space out, you know, 20 minutes and you can't remember what you learned. The goal is, is that you're completely engaged so that when that video ends immediately after you solidify this material with shorter style questions, and we call these questions bites. Okay. So these are our heme onc bites. Okay. So just for example, let's just say we click on this iron homeostasis video and give this a, a test drive. So the first thing that I really like about the videos is that each video highlights everything you need to know about that topic on one slide. So you don't have to sift through 20 or 30 different slides for, you know, a single video, which makes things kind of simple because it's all here in one place. Now, now, I will say that in a lot of the videos, there are a lot of annotations and sometimes we'll strategically use certain colors to help you follow along with certain pathways and we'll annotate along the way and give you some high yield pearls and easy ways to remember these concepts for testing. Another thing that we'll do throughout the videos as we're annotating is we'll also plug in these high yield buttons. So these high yield buttons are usually reserved for topics that have been notoriously tested as really high yield topics or something that's really critical for you to understand to integrate multiple concepts. And so this is great if you're, you know, in a time crunch and you're just trying to review the absolute most important things on the videos. What are the things I absolutely need to know? You can focus in on when the high yield topics are discussed in each video. And each video also has a chapter breakdown, so you can pretty easily skim through the different parts of the video. So you can see we have heme synthesis is covered in this section here. And if we click to iron regulation, we can jump to specifically talking about this portion of the video on iron regulation. And one of the things that we're doing every day is we're always updating our content. Like I mentioned, a lot of times we'll have students that have questions, you know, about a specific part of the pathway, or maybe they didn't quite understand something completely, or maybe they have some feedback about things they'd like to see in a future video. So in those situations, there's a feedback button here, and you can immediately type in questions that you may have or feedback that you may have. And you can send this to an expert that is very familiar with the topic and can help answer your questions questions or address your concerns, which is kind of nice. And by the way, since we're on this topic, you can also send messages to us. You can ask for help from here. But the single most important thing ultimately is, you know, how we're teaching the content. And one of my favorite things about Med School Bootcamp is that these videos are made to actually teach you how to think like a physician. It's one thing to, you know, have mnemonics and easy ways to remember certain things, but ultimately most examinations now and even clinical situations that we face every day, you have to think on your feet and you have to integrate concepts. And most examinations are moving away from rehearsing specific facts and more so testing you on your ability to take that information and integrate it into an experiment or a situation that you've never seen before. And that's where I think Med School Bootcamp separates itself from a lot of other resources. Now, like we said, at the end of this video, you know, you can get to the end of the video and then you'll get questions that are usually specific to the video you just watched. So for example, where does the majority of iron absorption occur? We could say the duodenum. And then you'll usually get a brief explanation, sometimes an easy way to remember the material. And you can see on the bottom here, we have cards for learning, reviewing, or mastering the material. And this is kind of nice because as you're going through the videos, if you're going through these videos systematically, you're going to inherit more and more of these cards. And then these cards will go back into your daily warm up, much like an Anki card. And so every time you log on, you can do your daily warm up, review the major takeaways from the videos that you've already watched and use that as active recall. And I'll talk about Anki also in a minute. We are on the Anking deck as well, um, but this is just another layer that's kind of vertically integrated into the software. And you can also see that there's a bookmark feature here too as well. So we can just say, you know, we got this question right. We could put master. Now in this example, you know, the second question here in the set, we got this question wrong. And you can see that there's an image that's associating some of the specific transporters that were asked about in the question into the explanation. And there's also explanations as to why the wrong answers are wrong and a key takeaway. These are made to be shorter, more recall based questions. So these, this is going to be completely different from the question bank that I'll show you in a minute. So you can see this layout is very very similar for a lot of the different units. We can go through, here's all of these step one preclinical units also on the sidebar here so that you can easily navigate between whatever unit you want to go to. So, you know, for example, here's immunology. You can also filter lessons or you can search for specific lessons. So if you wanted to search for, we were searching for immunodeficiency syndromes, for example. So it gives us, you know, the videos for immunodeficiency syndromes or severe combined immunodeficiency, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just click on the immunodeficiency syndrome. So it automatically took us to the immunology section on immunodeficiency syndromes. Again, here is the master outline. At the very end of a lot of the chapters right now, you'll see that there's also a board style question breakdown. So let me just walk you through that. After each of the chapters, there's a lot of information usually at that point that you're cycling between. And you might have the recall portion down after going through some of the flashcards, but it's at this time that we're trying to really put all of the pieces together. So usually these questions are going to be a bit more on the challenging side and they're going to integrate a lot of concepts. So these board style question breakdowns will usually be more of a vignette style. And you're going to have about 15 seconds or so to pause the video, read the question. And after doing so, we'll go through a full explanation. Each of these questions, by the way, generally has, you know, one major teaching point. But within that one teaching point, there's also five 
five or 10 smaller teaching points and takeaways. And so in this case, this is what they look like. And so you have some time in the beginning to pause the video. And then there's an explanation that will go through all the answers and all the teaching points that I just mentioned in the video. Now, at this point, after you've watched the unit, if you're kind of doing this systematically, the next big thing that we would graduate to would be doing board style questions. And so there's a couple different ways you can do that. We have a couple different links here, but I'm just going to click on the create test feature here up on our sidebar. We have all the different units that we were just talking about. And for example, maybe I've just watched a bunch of immunology videos. So I can just select immunology videos or maybe just immunology and hematology, or you can even subcategorize this by section as well. And we have a lot of questions right now. We have about 1800 questions uploaded, but like I said, we're constantly updating this. We're constantly adding to the platform. So I do anticipate that number is going to grow pretty significantly after this video is recorded. Now you can also see there's these learning reviewed and mastered buttons up here. So just like with the bite style questions, I'll show you in a minute. You can tag your board style questions also, if you want to come back to them or just if you want to, you know, generally bookmark them. So we're just going to click all of the questions and we'll just leave this at 40. And so you can see now that we've started our test, this has an interface that's essentially made to mimic in, in many ways, the real thing. And so the formatting is very similar. You can mark questions. For example, you can pull in lab values if you need to as well, using the same lab values that the NBME would use. And, you know, just for the sake of this example, we're just going to select an option here. And you can see that the explanations in general are pretty detailed on these questions. So we try to bold the key features, the key things that you want to take away from the question. And then we usually have images that you can look at that go into more detail to explain the teaching point ultimately of the question. And a lot of these images are, are very clean. We try to keep things very to the point. And as many of you know, one of the most important things to do is to go through and understand why the wrong answers are wrong. And then we have a key takeaway, you know, usually at the end of each of these questions. One of the other things that's unique about the platform is that we also link the related lessons to the question. So like if there was a question you really didn't understand and you wanted a more detailed explanation, you can just take the link here and jump over to watch the video on the video side, or just ask a question about the vignette or the answer if you wanted to get more clarity on that. And then one of the TA experts will get back to you. And then up here, you can see you can also tag these questions, as I was mentioning earlier, just like we said, you know, you can put this as a reviewing topic so that it comes into your reviewing bucket so that you can come back to it at another time. But I don't want to overshadow the amazing anatomy product that you get built into the med school product. And especially if you're, you know, in your first year or you're taking an anatomy course, but you also want to have a strong backbone in medicine, this is a great duality between the two. And you can see that they're organized to have their own domain. So you have the step one preclinical domain. So we'll close that. And then you can see here's the anatomy bootcamp domain. And the anatomy bootcamp domain really is made up into four major topics. The, you know, the biggest one I would say is probably gross anatomy. And one of my favorite things about the gross anatomy platform is not only do they have really awesome gross anatomy videos and practice questions similar to the bites questions that we just discussed earlier, but you also have these practical exams, which to me are probably one of the most important features of the anatomy bootcamp product. You can see we have cadaveric images that are very similar to what you would probably see in the cadaver lab. Okay. And so this gives you an opportunity to try to test your knowledge much like you would on your practicals. You can see there's all different types of questions in pretty much every domain of gross anatomy. So you can see we have upper and lower limbs, head and neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis. And like I said, there's all of these accompanying videos that goes with each section. And there's also question banks. So there's a lot of content to unpack it here. And this is just gross anatomy. We also have neuroanatomy, we have histology, we have an histology atlas and practical exam for histology as well. You can see that there's also histology images that are integrated into the explanation here to show you what each of these look like and what you should be looking for specifically. I also mentioned that we have an Anki deck. And so we do have full integration into Onking V12. And we have the links here. So you can, you know, go through the instructions if you have any issues with that, or you can just message us. Now, a lot of the creativity in med school bootcamp is part of what we all wish we kind of had when we went to med school. One of those things that I really wish I had was a step one study schedule. Now this study schedule for step one is plastic. In other words, we're constantly adding to it and changing things here or there, but the changes are more and more minor as time goes on. So you can kind of see this is the skeleton here. The nice thing about this study schedule is that there's a lot of interweaving of topics. And I think that's the best way, you know, at least from my perspective on how to approach studying for step one. Of course, you can always move stuff around, you know, to accommodate, you know, your learning style. So you can see here, you know, in this first week, we have the video content listed here. We also have bites and Anki review slots. And then as you proceed through the later weeks, you can see by week seven and week eight, it becomes more dominated by the board style questions and occasional recall with MBME practice tests. And like I said, there's a whole article that we have written on this that you can read and you can download this for free to get some more information. on. And then we also have a question of the day feature that you can participate on as well. We have the tag questions. So all of your tag questions, as we were going through the reviewing or the learning or the mastered, you can access those here. If you just wanted to jump right in, there's a create test feature. You can just do 10 random questions or jump into the gross anatomy Q bank. I guess what I would leave you with here is the med school bootcamp product is so dynamic. And what I mean by that is we're always updating, like literally daily, we're updating this platform. So not only is it up to date, but really based on all of the feedback that we get from hundreds and thousands of students every day to constantly be better, to make the best resource. Our commitment to you is that we want you to have the best learning experience anywhere. And there's so much more in this platform that, you know, we would like you to explore. And so I really encourage you to take this thing for a test drive. There will probably be even more features added to it and more content added to it, you know, after the recording of this video, as we continue to develop. Thank you so much for watching and please reach out if you need anything at all.